Hey, what's going on guys? Jerry here coming to you with a quick live video. I want to do a quick video today to A, show you my view again because I can't get enough of this. That's amazing. And B, I want to talk to you about balancing out work and fun. This was a question I got asked um, last week actually and I wanted to expand on it further uh, because I think a lot of people you know, deal with this, especially when we're talking about finances, we're talking about building wealth, we're talking about um, all of the things we talk about here inside Wealth Dynamics Nation with our clients. How do we balance out work and fun? Now, if you would have asked me five years ago, I would have told you hustle, I would have told you grind, I would have told you work your face off, I would have told you put in 16 hour days. That might be necessary for some of us, but here's my thought on it, okay? Everything we do has a purpose, right? So if we're working, what is the purpose of working? Usually it's to produce something, you know, in most cases it's income, it's financial means, right? So that's the first thing. If we're consuming, if we're playing, if we're having fun, which is an activity of consumption, we're also producing something. We're trying to create something. Usually it's relaxation or it might be memories or it could be, you know, a number of different things that we're trying to achieve through that. Okay. So the bottom line is my production has to outweigh my consumption. That's what it comes down to. Right. And I have to also look at, am I actually being helped? There's my voice here. Am I actually being helped? Hang on guys. I'm actually being helped by the production and the consumption I'm doing. So if I'm working to a point where I feel um, burnt out, if I feel distraught, if I feel like I can't do it anymore, that means that for right now, for a period of time, work might not be helpful, right? For me to continue doing that. It doesn't mean work is bad. It doesn't mean never do the activity again. It means I might need to withdraw and take a little bit of a break from the work and do something that's more of a fun cycle, a consumption cycle, okay? Conversely, if I'm consuming and consuming, consuming, and I never produce anything, and I'm not earning enough income, and I'm not doing well with my finances, and I'm not, you know, getting a, a net gain of production over consumption, that means that consumption is no longer helpful for me in this moment. I need to stop producing and I, or stop consuming, and I need to go produce. Okay, very simple, right? And so these are things that I have to be able to gauge myself. It's not the same answer for everybody. For me, what I've also noticed on this is this kind of the silver lining is the more. Um, you know, the more progress that you make on the blueprint of financial freedom, the more fun you can have with less work required because your income is no longer attached to your work. You don't have to sell. You don't have to trade time for money. You don't have to keep showing up. So logical answer is, you know, obviously balance those things out. Make sure that you always are a net surplus of production over consumption. Make sure you're following the blueprint. Make sure you're progressing along with your goals. Okay. And then at the end of the day, if you become, if you become financially independent using our blueprint of financial freedom, you don't have to keep doing work then you can just go have fun and, and create and do whatever you want to do. So I wanted to share that because I think a lot of us have a little bit of guilt associated with, you know, I consume too much or I'm taking a vacation or I'm spending too much time with family. Don't worry about that. Okay. Worry about number one, is it helping me or is it hurting me? Number two, is my production outweighing my consumption? Number three, am I following the blueprint of financial freedom so that I can build financial independence so that at some point I'm not required to work anymore. And then I have full control over my production, my consumption. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'm going to be doing more of these live videos. Um, make sure that you guys tune in, um, comment, let me know what you'd like me to talk about next time. We'll just do short little snippets and I'll talk to you next time. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint of Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call. And we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.